Well, everybody, he's back. Welcome to the Painting Zone. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Painting Zone. Duncan Rhodes, our favourite online painter in the community, um, who, unless you've been hiding under a rock for the past few years, you will know that he used to paint for Warhammer TV as one of their painting community experts. What would you call them? Resident online tutorial painters. Anyway, Duncan is back and we're very happy about this. Um, to me, he's probably the single best tutorial painter on the internet, now YouTube, that there is. Um, can't think of any others that are at that level. I mean, there are good painters out there, good tutorial, good tutorial makers out there, but Duncan, he set the bar, I think, for this. He set the bar, and I'm glad to have him back. Um, he's also bringing out his own subscription service, priced at around four pounds a month, which isn't too bad when you think about it. It's not actually a huge amount of money, and I'm, I'm pretty sure his content is gonna be top notch. So far, he's uploaded a couple of tutorials so far to YouTube, and they are um, a sister of battle from the order of our martyred lady. And um, I'm hoping to have a go at this. This time I'm gonna actually buy one and paint one and see how I get on. I think that'll be quite fun to do. And he's also done a Stormtrooper. So he's gone off the Games Workshop products and onto Fantasy Flight products with the Stormtrooper there from Star Wars Legion, I think it is. I don't play it. I have no idea what it is. I just know it has Star Wars models in it. And the only Star Wars game I've ever played is uh, X-Wing. That was good. That was good. So yeah, I suggest you go over to his channel immediately and sign up there and uh, I reckon you'll love it. That's Duncan Rhodes Painting Academy. So what else has happened recently? Um, the Gamma Show has been on, the GAMA, the Games Association Manufacturing Associates, something like that. I can't remember the correct name. If you can remember the name, please stick it in the uh, comments below. I'm terrible with these things. And there was a few nice new things come out of that. Um, really looking forward to the new Adeptus Titanicus Knight models, the Acheron and the Castigator. I think they look absolutely fantastic and uh, hoping to get one of those on the painting table ASAP along with the Escher Cats. Now we're not sure how to pronounce these either. I think they're Felixes. Uh, they look like a cross between the dinosaur from Jurassic Park, which I think was a Dilophosaurus, was it a Dilophosaurus? And it had the big <laughs> thing going on. Why did I whistle? Cross between the Dilophosaurus and a, uh, a cat. So we're calling them Escher Cat. So I want an Escher Cat. What else came out? Some Lumineth, Age of Sigmar stuff. Not really my cup of tea, but I can understand why some people would be very appreciative those miniatures and obviously the new Fabius Bile which I'm sure many many chaos enthusiasts have been waiting for for a long time. My favourite part of that model believe it or not was seeing the little gene seed being extracted. I uh, don't think I'd ever seen a physical gene seed before. They used to be called gene sperm you know a long long time ago if you uh, wind back through the years before retcons it was called gene sperm. I guess they thought that was a not quite PG-13. Anyway, what did you see from the Gamma releases? And what would you, uh, what are you most looking forward to? I'm interested to hear. So please let me know in the comments below. We'll see if we agree or disagree. Also, I'd just like to take an opportunity to say thank you to all my patrons. And they are Chantelle Marie, Tanya Blacksill, Steve J, Kyle, I finally got your name correct. Dan and Lee B. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. If anyone else would like to support the channel and you enjoy the content, then please have a look at the Patreon page. You can find a link to that in the description below. Anyway, moving on, what have I been working on? Well, as you can see here, I've been working on these Elysian drop troops which I'm actually using for Imperialis 
militia in 30k. So let's get down there and have a look. All right, people, we are now down on roving cam, everyone's favorite. Let's have a little look. Um, we can never zoom on these correctly, can we? So these are the Elysian drop troops. I've just had a little fiddle with converting wise to use as sergeants for some squads of Imperialis Militia for 30k and annoyingly the sergeants have to be armed with pistols and close combat weapons which don't come with the Elysians. So I've had to pull these off Cadian um, command squads Hence why the scale is a little off. That chain sword looks absolutely humongous. But as there's gonna be 60 of these guys running around, I'm not gonna to worry too much about things like that. You know, from, from tabletop distance, from tabletop distance up here, they're gonna look fine, aren't they? So next up, we have two, let me zoom, we have two, paint the boots, do some washes. I've got to highlight this beige, no finger. Um, oh, some people outside murdering each other by the sound of things. We have to work on that, work on his armor, do his uh, visor and the base. They shouldn't take too long, but you never really know, do you? But they really should be quite fun to paint. I'm looking forward to these. So after that, I'd like to give a shout out to this week's notification squad member and today it's job the javelin i hope i've got that name right job joab um thank you very much job i've seen you in the comments many many times um i really appreciate your support and engagement if anyone else wants to get a shout out potentially from the notification squad then all you have to do is leave me some comments and when i see your name pop up i will be paying attention so after we've finished these Imperialis Militia. We have a special little project which I can't really show you because it's part of a collaboration of sorts. But it should be fun. You might be able to get some sneak peeks. What's that screen doing? You might be able to get some sneak peeks from my Instagram page if you follow along. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and always remember to drill your barrels. We need some colour behind there. Oh shit, we started. <laughs>